Praise the Most High today, family. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High. Mm, what a picture. Let's see if I can catch that. picture of today's idea. And what, what's going on? You'll see in the video if I can capture it correctly. It's a little bitty dog, a little pit, chasing after his master. The master letting him walk. Now he just picked him up. <laughs> a little bitty puppy. And the master, Hebrew brother, already is carrying his daughter. And she's holding her little um, rag doll toy. And he's handling all of that at one time. And family, that's a picture of the Most High leading us where we need to go daily. All we need to do is keep up and follow. And when times get rough, he'll pick us up and carry us a bit. But he's going to put, put us back down so we can work them legs. Not forgetting we're made to walk not be carried all the time. But praise the most high family. That takes us right into our idea. But first I want to say Shalom. And I pray everyone is well and that you're able like myself to get out and enjoy this day. Hallelujah. The most high deserves all our praise family. Yes indeed he does. Family I'm a bit exhausted this morning. I just left my EMG test, testing the nerves, the muscles, to see where the damage done by the procedure in the hospital is at in my arm, and why my fingers are totally numb. My pinky and my ring finger on my right hand. And this one is starting to get numb right here. Then we praise the most high for a favorable test and outcome pinpoint where the damage is done and what we need to do to fix it. Praise the Most High. Praise the Most High. Hallelujah. They see, family, what we have to remember is we're on a personal walk with the Most High. We can identify with each other by our past experiences or our experiences but we can't pinpoint our experiences by someone else's experience. We can't say to somebody, you, you, you don't need to mess with no doctors when the Most High is leading you down that path. You don't need to take no pain pills, okay? How many open heart surgeries have you had? Oh boy, <laughs> you need to have faith. Have faith as a grain of mustard seed. You won't have to take no pain pills for that open heart surgery. You'll be okay. <laughs> and this joke ain't never been cut on in their whole life but they tell you you don't take no pain pills trust the most high okay I, I trust the most high with all my heart I know what he can do I've seen what he's done but if he's not leading me down that path to, to have the miracle where he could just heal me all of a sudden see I learned that in the prior the prior stroke in 2016 when it came to amputating my toes. <laughs> Family, I prayed and cried and boo-hooed before the Most High and all he was saying was nothing. <laughs> he was totally silent on that occasion. And I know that's that's not really like the Most High in my life. He's always talking to me one way or the other. But he's always talking to me. Letting me know he's near and it's not always the voice, but he, he, he shows me that he's right here with me all the time. And a lot of us don't, don't recognize it because we're not paying attention. We don't recognize our Abba because we're not looking for him. We're not listening for him. But when you depend on him like I do, your eyes and ears 
all your senses are like Spider-Man's spotty sense. They're tangling, trying to pick up on where the Most High is and what he's up to in your life. But no, you can't tell other people what to do with their, their relationship with their Abba Yahuwah when he's talking to them just as much or even more than he's talking to you. And it's not up to you to, to try to direct other folks. My prayer is that my brothers and sisters will have eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart to perceive what the Most High is cooking. <laughs> like the Rock used to say, can you smell what the Rock is cooking? old wrestler who went to um, making movies to rock. Big time movie star. But no, you, you gotta um, let the most high be the most high in other folks' life like he's the most high in your life and be patient. And watch and see if the most high have him on the right path. And listen. Because you'll show here their testimony if the most high have them on the right path. Praise the most. I don't know where where that comes from. That came out of right field or left field. But I, I did today. Well, like I was saying, I hope everyone is well. And like myself, you're able to get out and enjoy this day. That's so important, family. Getting out and enjoying the fresh air, the sunshine, and some exercise. Praise the most high. Praise the most high. Thank you the most high for my energy, my strength back. Boy, they were poking on me this morning and shooting them electric shocks in my arms, both arms. Family was enough to make a grown man cry. Then the doctor came in there and poked. Poke, you see that? Look, you can't see it, but yeah, you can. There's a little spot right there. We had this little needle and was poking in my in my um hand. I mean, he went all the way down in there, family, and then shot a um electric shock in there. Family talk about pain. Praise the Most High, He got a story. Was I ready to shoot my left hook? <laughs> oh, I was ready to shoot him a left hook. He, I'm like, oh, going too far, ain't you? I really catch him. <laughs> but praise the most high family. No pain, no gain. Sometimes we have to go through the pain and endure hardship as a good soldier to get through the valley of patience. The valley of the shadow of patience. The dying of self. I said the valley of the shadow of patience. <laughs> The dying of self. Nobody likes that valley of patience where you gotta wait a little. What that girl say? What that guy say? Just wait a little. I can't catch that too. saying wait on the most high he gonna come he gonna show up he gonna do what he say family he gonna make all things work together for our good but let's get on, into this idea and like if we said the valley valley of the shadow of patience the dying of self we're gonna read over some scripts and the first one is um psalms 23 in this entirety but we have a couple of scripts we're gonna point out and see the progress of how the Most High walks and leads us. The Most High is my shepherd. I shall not want. Uh oh, that's letting us know right off top that because he's leading me and guiding me, I'm not going to have no wants or desires. I'm going to have everything I need. It might not come when I want to. See, I might have to walk a few hundred miles <laughs> to get to the water. Uh oh. Because he's leading me on the path. I may have to walk a little while to get to the green grass. Uh-oh. To the vittles, the food, the nourishment. And that's even spiritually, family. Because if he tell you to, to head on north and he'll, he'll um, 
get you something to eat, he'll give you a word. Well, if he tell you to go in one direction, he like go in that direction and I sustain you and then I give you another word once you get up here in that direction. Mm, pardon me, man, like I get this shoe on my foot. Mm, you hoosh. Mm, mm, mm. Praise the most high. And as the text says, he'll give us daily bread. And a lot of times he's going to give you a word and make you wait on the next one. Because he wants you to do what that word tells you to do. And we'll explain that in a minute. And we'll explain it now. The script. Once again, Romans 8 and 28. We'll get back to the 23rd Psalm. We know that all things work together for good to those who love the Most High, to those who are called according to His purpose. The question is, am I called according to His purpose? And that's an undoubtedly, yes indeed. Yes indeed, we're all called according to His purpose. And also, do we love Him? It says, to those who love the Most High, so you gotta love the most high family before he make all things work together for your good. Uh -uh. And a lot of folks don't bit more love the most high than if America went to the moon. <laughs> and we know that's a foolish lie. When the text says there's a firmament over the earth that they cannot get out of. And they've been shooting rockets at it, trying to break a hole in it since the 40s or 50s. Somewhere down around that time. Praise the Most High, we know that all things work together for our good. And see, family, that was my stand on script when I went into the hospital. That one and the one about, um, he'd give you the the best cure I can't think of that one right now we'll look it up and put it in this recording but the text in the 23rd Psalm says basically the same thing the most high is my shepherd I shall not want when he say all things work together for your good that's that's him t telling you you ain't got no wants he makes me lie down in green pastures see those those green pastures we was talking about but you gotta get them. Uh oh, to lay down. Uh oh, to get that rest. Uh oh. Pardon me. He leads me beside the still waters. Oh boy. See, family, how many of us know that there ain't no green pastures and still water in the valley of patience? In the valley of the shadow of patience? No, we can call this the valley of patience because it ain't no shadow. But it's just like the valley of the shadow of death. Same place. It's the shadow of death because it can't touch you. Even though the death is there. Yeah, you feel it. You even smell it like I did in the hospital. Oh, you feel that death trying to take you. And even if you don't, you hear the demons trying to get you to believe that you're dying. Just like at one time, family, I was convinced that they were sending me home to die. Praise the most high. But I held on to what the most I said. You, 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 see, you gotta have a, a, a word for each season or each test. And you gotta stand on it. No matter what comes, no matter what goes or who goes, you gotta stand on that script, baby. Family. Like your life depends on it because it does. Because it does. He restores my soul. See, this is where the restoring goes on. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. So everywhere he's leading us, family, is for his name's sake. And it's the righteous path. It's the path you're supposed to be on. Even though it may not seem like it, don't feel, definitely don't feel like it. No, sir. And see, but the most, more, most important thing the most I share with me was get out your feelings. <laughs> get out your emotions, Robert, and stay out of them. 
praise the Most High. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of, of patience, <laughs> where I had to die to self daily, I would fear no evil. Now, I know I added that, and I'm not supposed to add to the script, but you get where I'm coming from. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort, they comfort me. And see, that's the most high's word, family. That rod, that staff, where you beat off them demons. Get up out of here. Just like Yahushua did with Asatan in the wilderness, in the valley of the shadow of patience. He had to go down through that too, family. No doubt. We all do. All of us got to wait on the most high. Because that's where the pleasing of him comes. Shows. That's how we show we, we love him. We're, we're, we depend on him. We need him. See, when you wait on the most high family, mm, he gets the glory out of it. He's, he's ready to, to act on your behalf, but he wants to get the full work of patience in your life. We'll get to that. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Down through there. When you're down through there, he's preparing a table for you. You anoint my head with oil, my cups run over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Most High forever. Praise the Most High forever, ever, forever, ever. And 1 Corinthians 15 and 31 says, I protest by your rejoicing which I have, have in the Shiat Yahushua, our Adonai. I die daily. Family, what did die daily means? <laughs> oh boy. Be patient. Be patiently waiting on the most high and saying no to your own will, your own desires, your emotions. Definitely your emotions. You're saying no. No, I'm going to wait on the most high. I'm going to be patient and wait on him. See, that's what dying daily means, family. Not going your way, you're going the most high way. Not doing what you want to do, you're doing what he, he, he demands you to, to do. What really asks you to do. But it's up to you to make the choice. And then as we read before Romans 8 and 28, and we know that all things work together for, for good, to those who love the Most High, to those who are called according to His purpose. Because, we, like we said, we got to get out of our own plans, out of our own wills, His purpose. I was, I was reminded today by a brother or sister whose name is not one iota in our YouTube comments to be patient. Little did they know that I have been going through or going down through the valley of the shadow of patience ever since I left the hospital curtain with a new pain from an injury I suffered while in there. How many of us know that we must die to self daily on this walk with our Adonai? As he leads us into all truth, the path gets dark and lonely, and you must endure pain, hardship, and ridicule as a good soldier. I told not one iota how on time that kick in the rear was today. Because today I get that EMG test I have been needing to determine the extent of the damages to my arm. And if I am causing more damage by using it daily. This test was expedited by the Most High to a doctor who I almost called to cancel her appointment because of her speciality. She is a multi multiple sclerosis, cirrhosis doctor who also works in nerve damage, which I didn't know at the time. The highest told me to shut up and not to dare and not to dare do such a thing in canceling that appointment. That all things work together for my good. He told me to basically entertain her by simply visiting and seeing what her part was in expediting all things working together for my good. Needless to say, I was happy for the results and even more excited that she truly expedited the process by getting the, e the EMG pushed up to today instead of the end of September. 
As I said, the Most High did it all using whatever, all things, he chooses to accomplish his goodwill. Not none of this would have been possible without the lesson he taught me back in 2016 when going through when going through the stroke the open heart surgery the three surgeons on my left leg and finally the three toes amputated when they kept coming to me back to back to back to back finding new stuff wrong with me saying they wanted to try this new dope they want to try this new breakthrough procedure on my brain to pull out a blood clot and I got I got frustrated fam I said pop I'm tired of these folks keep coming to me talking about this wrong and that wrong and the other wrong he said well Robert have you noticed that every time something comes up we knock it down and every time something else comes up we knock that down too I said, yeah, Pop, but you doing the heavy hitting. He said, not so. He said, without your faith in me, there's nothing I can do for you. Without you trusting and depending on me, I couldn't do not one thing for you. So we knocking, knocking these things down. And don't forget it. And like I said, family, without that lesson he taught me back in 2016, I couldn't have the faith to believe him right now. And stuff keep popping up negative reports negative doctors don't want to do their job in cahoots with their partners who damaged my arm in the first place but how many of us know who's the highest oh boy <laughs> see that means who's the highest in the paperwork who's the highest in them halls <laughs> in the doctor's offices. See, the Most High will squeeze and squeeze and squeeze the individual's heart to turn them in the direction you want them to go. Just like the um, king, it says in the text. The Most High turns the heart of the king and just like um, a river turns. Praise the Most High family. See, we all have to take that... Um, that trip down through the valley of the shadow of patience, the dying of self. See, we can't speak on dying to self too much because it's something we got to do, family. And if we don't do it, we're going to go around that mountain over and over and over and over until we get it right. And it's hard, family. Yes, indeed, it's hard. It's tough. And it seems like it'll never end. And I am talking from true experience, family. It seems like it'll never end, but trust me, it ends. And the Most High will expedite the situation once he see that your faith is strong in it. Once he see that you have decided, no, sir, I'm following you, sir. No turning back, no turning back. Praise the most high. I have decided to follow Yahusha. Said I have decided to follow Yahusha. I have decided to follow Yahusha. No turning back, no, no, no turning back. See, family, what do I got to go back to? Mm -hmm. What do I have to go back to? Addictions, drugs, fake love, a bunch of hot mess. True, I wouldn't survive probably a week. Praise the Most High for delivering us today and preparing that table for us. Hallelujah. In the presence of our enemies. Hallelujah. <laughs> Those that don't want to act right, just like we read in the script the other day, he'll shut their minds, he'll break their teeth. 
Hallelujah. Thank the most high for breaking the teeth of those that don't want to act right. Those that want don't want to do right. When the most high tell them to do right, they don't they don't want to do it. But we are the, we are concentrating on ourselves this today, family, that we're gonna do right and follow the most high. Let him be your shepherd today, family. Let him lead and guide you into all truth through and by his Ruach Kakadesh. And as he told me at the beginning of the week or last week, if you let me, I'll take care of you, brother. If you let me, I will take care of you. We're not depending on no man, no woman, no son. We, we're depending on the most high. And see, he wants that dependency out of us. He wants that open show of we loving him and doing what he asks us to do. And you can do it. Just like the nurse told me, my in care home nurse, back in 2016, she said, if he bring you through it, Robert, he'll get you. If he bring you to it, he'll get you through it. And family, we don't always want to hear the good message or the good news that's being brought to us. A lot of times because it's not the individual we want telling it to us. Uh-oh. <laughs> Some folks might not like my style of sharing these ideas, but that's okay. It's not for you. Uh-oh. See, we don't have to be like Paul, which I think was a mistake. When he said he's um he's all things to all people. You cannot be all things to all people. No sir. And even the most I can. That's why hell is full and it's getting fuller daily. But you're just called according to his purpose to reach those that he called you to reach. And you're going to reach them in his name. And he'll get the glory for it. That's going to be our time, family. I love you so much and appreciate you. I appreciate the support of those that support Robert. Through your prayers, through your reaching out, encouraging the brother giving me wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as well. Because as one of my sisters said, one of my coaches said, we must encourage each other. And that's so, so true, family. Because you don't know, Robert is encouraged by these comments daily. Whenever somebody reach out, even negatively, it sharpens my sword. It encourages me to keep on doing what I'm doing in Yahushua's name. And the support financially, knowing we're going through a tough season right now, it's very important to support each other, family. For one, we don't know we're, what we're going through, each other. And trust you me, I support many of folk that, that feed me. Trust me. But praise the most high, I say total rabah. It's, it's important to um to say thank you, family, when, when folks are helping you. Because you know they're listening to the Father, who it's all expedited through. But I love y'all so much and appreciate you. You're the reason why we do what we do. You're the reason we come out to a park and sit 30 minutes and share what the Most High is doing for us. Because that's how we overcome, family. Through the word of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. See, he's got us covered, family. Mm. The good shepherd. Hallelujah. Trust him today, family. Trust him today. He's trustworthy. But we're gonna let, it, let that be. Like we said, we love you so much and appreciate you. Do stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom, hallelujah.